The etymology or origin of the word passion is derived from the Latin term petit, which means suffer. We all know that you may have to suffer from time to time for what you're passionate about. Well, that could not be more true than in our next Pursue Your Passion segment, where we meet a local professional athlete who has chosen a passion for pain. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, yep. Yeah. Raging Northwood. Good. Last one. Jacksonville, Florida. I'm an entrepreneur slash MMA fighter, well, pro athlete, if you want to say, because I do other things too. I've been around the martial arts scene for years. You know, my, my dad, he been, you know, he's a polished black belt, you know, involved in Taekwondo, Aikido, you know, he got some judo background. Now he does uh, BJJ full time, you know. Um, so I've been, I've always been around that. So like now it's like football been my whole life. I always wanted to fight, but football is my number one passion. So, you know, XFL happened, they sh coronavirus pandemic that shut down till 22. So I decided to hop in here. I always told myself when I was done with playing football, I was going to hop into the MMA game. But part of me is not done with football either. You know, I love the game, period. You know, why well, I can't be a two-sport athlete? Good. It's a newfound passion for, of mine. Like I said, I've been wanting to do it for years, but football is also a passion of mine. But um, now, it's here, we doing it, man. I, I love being in here. I'm in here twice a day, every day. And I got that mentality. I'm a dog, like, it's nobody, it's not a lot of people with the mindset that I have, even the guys in this fight game, you know? And that's what I'm gonna bring to the game, along with my technicality, you know what I'm saying, my skill set. You know, a lot of people may think that, you know, I'm just a brute in there, but nah. You know, that first fight, man, it was real, it was relaxed for me, man. Like, I wasn't nervous, you know? I done, man, I done been in front of big crowds. You know, if you're talking, if it's a matter of the crowd, I don't get nervous off of crowds. I done played in front of 100,000 plus people with another million watching me on TV. You know what I'm saying? So I had a tunnel vision, I had a focus, I had a plan, a game plan. You gotta get to the point in this fight game where things become reactive. You know, the start of the fight, you know, I came out fast, I started fast, you know, whoop de whoop. <laughs> I threw a spinning heel kick that got him on his toes. He kind of got him running away from me a little bit. But in the midst of that heel kick, I was able to transfer my, my body level low and already creep up into his guard. Now at this point, he didn't reach his hand, his arm over my head, and I already got the gable grip to, to the side of his ribs. It's over with from there. Honestly, when you really, I wanted to fight. I was hoping he was gonna stand in the paint with me. You know what I'm saying? so I can really open my playbook. See, the crazy thing about this is people think they know what I got to offer, offer in this game. They don't have a clue, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got so much in the playbook, man, that, I, that that's efficient, you know? I'm a strong football player, and I'm fighting a light heavyweight, man. Like, I'm not downplaying anything, and, I don't, and first and foremost, I want everybody to understand that I'm not cocky in this game or nothing. I can get knocked out any given day, and I'm aware of that. That's why I come in here, and I'm in this, I'm in this thing every day. You feel me? Grinding it out, you know, my teammates from the fight team. I feel free, man. Like, you know, man, I prayed a lot about my situations with my career and stuff. You know, I want to be, a, you know, I still want to be one of the greatest football players ever, you know. Uh, you know, there's been a lot of bumps and bruises on that path, but, you know, I did a lot of praying and, and soul searching, man, and just, Stay in the course, man, and, and this MMA thing, just, you know, I pray for a sign, and, you know, boom. I got most of my, my mental toughness and stuff, man. My dad, you know, he did a lot of mental conditioning growing, with me growing up as a kid. And, you know, I done been through some tough times, some tough situations, and, you know, he always told me ways to just, you know, just have a mindset, man, process, man, and not ever let nobody, don't ever let nobody, you know, hold you down, don't ever let nobody, control you or I'm unconquered. You know what I'm saying? Let's just put it like that. You know, that's one of my favorite, that's one of my favorite words too, you know, coming from Florida State. That's my motto, unconquered. Anybody else in this combat night thing at 205? Don't come my way. I'm gonna run through the whole city. I promise you that. Y'all know what's up. It's up. It's not a hobby. I'm trying to go to UFC, bro. I'm a competitor. 
Man. It's going down. 